and you're back to work on what's my rule tables. Remember with these you've got your function machine. So whatever you put in, you need to do the rule to it and get something out. So the first number we're putting in is the number 8. You put 8 into the machine, divide it by 2. Think about what is 8 divided by 2. You know division because you know multiplication. You can also think what times 2 will equal 8. Think about that as a fact triangle. 8 divided by 2 would equal 4. If I put 16 into this machine, put 16 in, divide it by 2, it's going to equal 8. Now I have an out. I know I need to get 10 to come out of this machine, so I'm missing my in. I don't know what to put in, but I have to divide it by 2 and get 10 as my answer. Think about that as a fact triangle. Work your way backwards. Multiplication. 10 times 2 equals what? You're missing your big number. How about 20? You can check your work. 20 divided by 2 does equal 10. Put 50 in this machine. What is 50 divided by 2? It is 25. So I'm going to slide this over on your whiteboards now. I would like you to do the same thing, but this time your rule is divided by 12. So put it in and see what you get back out. Notice the first one is done for you. If you put a 12 in, divide it by 12, you're going to get a 1 out. So put your 36 in and think about what you should put in in order to get a 4 out and a 2 out. Pause the video now, do the work on your whiteboard, and start it up when you're ready to check your answers. Okay, so let's see how you did. If you put 36 in this machine, you divide it by 12, and you should get the answer of 3. What do you have to put in this machine so that when you divide it by 12, you get the answer of 4? That would be 48. 24 is what you should put in the machine in order to get it two out. And if you put 60 in, divided by 12, you are going to get five. Let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and stop it there. And you can work on um, the next video.